Egyptian culture from thousands of years ago has put this country on the map. Temples, tombs, monuments, and artwork have all become well known throughout the world. Showing us what life used to be like and what humanity used to mean. Some of those things are still being discovered. From mummy caches to strange head cones, here are 15 things recently discovered in Egypt. Number 15. The Tomb of King Tutankhamun's Wife It took us a pretty long time to find the Tomb of King Tutankhamun, but from that point on, it was only a matter of time before we found the tomb of his wife. If an article from Fox News is anything to go by, that time may have come in 2017. Archaeologists believe they found King Tut's wife's tomb in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Archaeologist Zahi Hawass said that the tomb is located near that of Pharaoh I and his team planned to excavate it. They know with 100% certainty that the tomb is there, but they don't know exactly who it belongs to. To find out for the first time through the CT scan machine that can go inside the mummy. The excavation will hopefully shed some light on the situation. Zahi believes that it may belong to King Tut's wife, who was also his half-sister and lived during the 14th century BC. She married I after King Tut's death, so it would make sense for her body to be located near him. They identified the possible presence of the tomb from four foundation deposits. These are holes filled with objects like food remains and pottery vessels. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. There is a lot hidden below the surface of Egypt waiting to be found. Because we know this, archaeologists are continually making trips to Egypt to see what they can find. One research team got way more than they bargained for. They discovered at least a dozen complete skeletons, all perfectly free of damage and formed how they should be. It was one of their most famous finds. What do you think those animals were, and can you guess their significance? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Lion Cub Mummies in late 2019, archaeologists uncovered quite an exciting find in Saqqara, a necropolis south of Cairo in Egypt. It was a massive cache of ancient artifacts and mummified animals. I mean, when are we going to stop finding things in Egypt? It seems like it's never-ending. In the collection of items were 75 bronze and wooden cat statues, along with 25 decorated wooden boxes containing mummified cats. They also discovered a variety of animal and bird statues like crocodiles, cobras, mongoose, falcon, and ibis. According to Egypt Antiquities Minister Khaled El Anani, this single discovery could fill an entire museum by itself. But out of all these discoveries, some were more exciting than others. And the five mummified cats definitely stood out. After CT scans, two of them were identified as lion cubs based on the shape of their bones and their size. The remaining three cats were not yet able to be identified. They said that whatever they identify them as, like a cheetah, panther, or something else, they will be one of a kinds and likely not grown to full size. Number 13. Tomb of the Pyramid Builders We've long been told that the people responsible for constructing many of the pyramids in Egypt were slaves or Jews. We often felt sad for them having to do all that back-breaking labor against their will. But as it turns out, that may not be accurate. Many of these pyramid builders may have actually been free men. 
From an article in Discover Magazine from 2010, it was found that 4,000-year-old tombs near the pyramids belonged to the pyramid builders. The graves were first discovered in 1990 when a tourist riding a horse stumbled over a wall, which was found to be a tomb. That may not mean a lot to the average person, but tombs being built beside the king's pyramid actually means that they weren't slaves. If they were, they wouldn't have been able to have graves beside their king. Archaeologist Zahi Hawass said that the tomb's walls that the builders probably built for themselves had graffiti such as Friends of Khufu, who was a pharaoh. Egyptologist Dieter Wildung said that the find wasn't surprising. He said the myths of slaves building pyramids is the stuff of tabloids and Hollywood. He also stated that people found it hard to believe that the pyramids could be built without forced labor and oppression and with loyalty to the pharaohs instead. Number 12. Mummy Cash In 2021, a sarcophagus discovered near Queen Neerit's funerary temple in Saqqara was unveiled, and it was a monumental occasion for all involved. About two millennia ago, hundreds of ancient Egyptians were laid to rest in the ancient city of the dead called Saqqara. During this process, their organs were removed and their bodies were wrapped in linen. Priests then put them inside coffins that had been decorated with hieroglyphics. Here, they would remain undisturbed for thousands of years. It's only been in recent months that they've been discovered. A trove of at least 210 coffins were found entombed below the sands of Saqqara. Archaeologists had already uncovered 52 burial shafts with over 50 wooden coffins with an estimated age of 3,000 years. The additional coffins found brought that number to 210. According to the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, the sarcophagi were completely closed and had not been opened since their burial. Archaeologists also found some exciting artifacts alongside the coffins, like a 13-foot long and 3-foot wide papyrus scroll with an excerpt from the Book of the Dead. This finding confirms that Egyptians used to bury their dead in Saqqara between the 16th and 11th centuries BC earlier than previously thought. Number 11. 40 Mummies Hidden in the Desert in 2018, all eyes were on Tuna El Jebel, a necropolis in the Minya Governorate of Egypt. It was here that an amazing discovery had been made. A hidden chamber 160 miles from Cairo with an underground maze of rooms cut into rock thousands of years earlier. It's not all that uncommon to find ancient structures underground in Egypt, but this one was different, which is why archaeological teams and even reporters were invited to take a look. One large underground chamber was found to be filled with mummies. Two of the tombs were discovered around 29 feet or 9 meters underground. They had about six rooms and were given the name of the Minya Graves. Lining the floors and walls of these chambers were 40 mummies. Some were laid out in the open and some were stored in open clay coffins. Out of those 40 mummies, there were men, women, children, and even animals. They also found pieces of papyrus and shards of pottery, which allowed them to date the tomb back to the Ptolemaic Kingdom, founded in 305 BC. Number 10. Lost Golden City my mind is blown. We've been digging up the sands of Egypt for years, and we've just found an entire city we've been looking for forever. That's just nuts. In September 2020, the lost golden city near Luxor was found within months of starting the excavation. Egyptologist Zahi Hawass announced the discovery and said it was the largest ancient city ever discovered in Egypt. It was called a ten. The city dates back to Amenhotep III's reign. Amenhotep III was once one of Egypt's most powerful pharaohs, ruling from 1391 BC to 1353 BC. It was then used by Pharaoh's I and Tutankhamun. Many valuable artifacts were discovered, like scarab beetle amulets, mud bricks with seals of Amenhotep III, colored pottery, and jewelry. Zahi Hawass also said that the site of the large city was in good condition, with nearly complete walls and rooms featuring tools of daily life. Seven months after the build, some incredible parts of the city continued to be uncovered, like neighborhoods, an administrative district, a residential area, and even a bakery. 
The city has long been lost, and no one's ever been able to find it, so these discoveries have been making front-page news. Number 9. 20 Sealed Coffins in Luxor One of the largest and most important finds in recent years would have to be 20 sealed ancient Egyptian coffins near the city of Luxor. The coffins were decorated in red, green, white, and black, and were stacked in two layers within a massive tomb. The sealed coffins were found in al Asasif, a necropolis on the west bank of the Nile River. It used to form part of the ancient Egyptian capital of Thebes, which now includes part of Luxor. If the find of 20 coffins wasn't impressive enough, the fact that they were still sealed was. Apparently, that's quite rare in Egyptian archaeology. No specific time periods were initially given to the coffins, but some of the decorations and inscriptions could shed some light. Most of the tombs held the remains of government officials and nobles buried during the Late Period, lasting from 664 BC to 332 BC. Some tombs dated back earlier to the 18th Dynasty, which was from 1543 BC to 1292 BC. What people were most surprised about when seeing the coffins for themselves was their condition. It was like they had just been left by the ancient Egyptians. They still had engravings on them and much of their coloration. Number 8. Strange Egyptian Head Cones if you've been interested in ancient Egyptian paintings, you may have noticed something unusual about many of them. Sometimes, some of the people in those pieces of art have tiny cones on their heads. Archaeologists actually believed for a long time that they were symbols, not actual accessories. But as it turns out, they are real. How do they know? Because they found two of them dating back around 3,300 years. In one of ancient Egypt's strangest cities, Akhetaten, archaeologists stumbled across two of the cones. The city was occupied only for around 15 years during the 14th century BC, when Egypt was under the rule of the pharaoh the city was named after, Akhetaten. Rumor has it that he was also Tutankhamun's father, but he was also known for having developed a religious system that focused on worshipping one god represented by the sun. The two cones that were discovered came from low-status graves within a worker's cemetery. Both bodies had full heads of hair and a head cone. They were cream-colored, made of beeswax, and about 8 centimeters, or a little bit over 3 inches, tall. Archaeologists believe the cones represented the wearer's status. Number 7. The Screaming Mummy Wow, we think we've got some drama in our families. You'll be shocked about the dramas that happened during Egyptian times. In 1881, a cache was discovered in Luxor that contained the corpses of royal members of previous families. They had been hidden to protect them from grave robbers. Within that cache was a mummy dubbed the Screaming Mummy because, well, it looked like it was screaming. Recently, CT scans and DNA tests have been carried out to shed some light on who the Screaming Mummy was. Apparently, he was Prince Pentaware, King Ramses III's son, who was forced to end his own life by hanging as punishment for killing his father. The punishment didn't end once he was dead, either. He was not mummified. Instead, he was wrapped in sheepskin which actually indicated that he was considered unclean and destined to hell in the afterlife. All the other mummies in the cache were carefully wrapped in white linen and mummified. In the same royal cache was another mummy that looked like it was screaming. She was a woman, so she was aptly dubbed the Screaming Woman Mummy. Researchers determined that she died of a heart attack in a unique body position. This position meant she was unable to be mummified in the usual way. Number 6. Rare Statue of King Ramses Finding a statue in Egypt doesn't sound like a big deal. After all, you hear about archaeologists digging up figures all the time. But this one's a little bit different. Statues similar to it have only ever been made of wood. This one is made of granite. The rare statue of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Ramses II was found in 2019 near Giza. It featured pink granite and stood at nearly 3.5 feet tall. It also had the Ka symbol written on it, which is supposedly an aspect of the 
soul or spirit by the civilization. The statue ended up being discovered on land near the Temple of Ptah, 15 miles from Giza, owned by a man who had been arrested that month for illegal excavations. According to the Secretary General of the Supreme Court of Antiquities, the rare statue was meant as a resting place for the Ka, the life force or spirit after a person has died. Previously, only wooden statues of Ramses II had been found. The statue depicts him in the form of Elka, which is the symbolism of strength, spirit, and vitality. Engraving on the back of it reads Nacht Mari Mat, meaning strong bull. Number 5. 110 Ancient Tombs in Nile Delta just when you thought we'd run out of places to dig, archaeologists in Egypt uncovered an ancient site in a Nile Delta province containing 110 burial tombs, some of which contained human remains. The burial tombs were discovered in April 2021 at the Kum el Kulgan archaeological site in the Dekalia, northeast of Cairo. Of the burial tombs, 37 rectangular shaped ones dated back from 6000 BC to 3150 BC during the Second Intermediate Period. This was when the Semitic people of Hyksos ruled ancient Egypt. Another 68 were oval-shaped from the pre-dynastic period from 6000 BC to 3150. Another five oval-shaped tombs dated back to the Nikata III period from 3200 BC to 3000 BC. Remains of adults, children, pottery objects, and funerary equipment were also found. Surprisingly, there's actually more than one reason that we are hearing more and more about these ancient discoveries. Egypt tourism suffered terribly during an uprising in 2011. The situation was made even worse by the COVID-19 pandemic. More media exposure for ancient discoveries may excite people enough to pay a visit and see some of these artifacts and mummies in museums for themselves. Number 4. 59 Late Period Mummies the first significant discovery in Egypt since the COVID-19 pandemic was 59 late-period mummies through a narrow hole in a burial chamber. But they were no ordinary mummies. As it turns out, they were priests, people with high-standing social statuses, and senior statesmen. Basically, they were the elite of the time. Typically, you can tell the difference between tombs with ordinary people and rich people by what's buried with them. In this instance, they were buried with dozens of statues, including the dual god Ptah Sokar and the locust god Nefertem. There were so many grave goods that it would probably take some time for all of them to be discovered, especially as many would be hiding in the shadows out of sight. According to the university professor and head of Egyptology at American University in Cairo, Salima Ikram, the find confirmed a lot of information. He said it confirmed the hidden wealth of Saqqara, which was was one of the wealthiest necropolises of Egypt with tombs from 2800 BC into the Roman era. The find also confirmed Saqqara's significance as one of the most important and longest lasting burial places in Egypt, spanning over 3,000 years. Number 3. Roman Era Mummy in Egyptian Oasis in 2010, Egyptian archaeologists uncovered a carved plaster sarcophagus that showed a wide-eyed woman dressed in a tunic. It was found in a newly discovered complex of tombs in a remote desert oasis, according to the Egypt Antiquities Department. Archaeologist Mahmoud Afifi led the dig and said it was the first Roman-style mummy found in Baharia Oasis, about 186 miles southwest of Cairo. The discovery was made in a cemetery dating back to the Greco-Roman period, with 14 tombs in total. The plaster sarcophagus is three feet long and shows a woman wearing a long tunic, bracelet, headscarf, beaded necklace, and shoes. She also has colored stones in the eyes to offer the illusion that she's awake. At the time, Mahmoud had not dated the find. Still, he said the burial style indicated that it came from the long period of Roman rule in Egypt from 31 BC for a few hundred years. At first, they thought it was a child's tomb, but the decorations and features made them believe it was a woman. It wasn't clear who she was, but she may have been an influential and wealthy member of society. Number 2. Limestone Coffin with Mummies 
In the Tuna El Jebel archaeological area of Minya, a fantastic discovery was made in 2020. It was a burial shaft with limestone sarcophagus and several Ushabti statues. The burial shaft was found at a depth of 16 feet, or 5 meters, with the limestone sarcophagus featuring inscriptions of the four children of Horus. It was in good condition and positioned next to the collection of Ushabti statues. After initial inspection work, archaeologists determined that the mummy was Jahudi Um Hoteb from the 26th family. He was the supervisor of the thrones and the son of Guarda East, whose coffin was found on the first excavation of the 2018 season. This amazing find is just one of many potential ones in the Minya Governorate of Tuna El Jebel. There are also several archaeological sites with treasures there that have not yet been discovered. It contains monuments from the Roman and Greek eras, as well as the late Middle Ages. It's also famous for its many archaeological tombs that have revived the tourist life there. I mean, who wouldn't want to see artifacts from thousands of years ago? I'm not surprised. Number 1. The Dashur Pyramid the 331-foot-high Dashur Pyramid, located 25 miles south of Cairo and built for Pharaoh Snefru around 2600 BCE, is one of the most unique pyramids you will ever see. It gets its name from its unusual shape and two different angles and inclinations and represents the early developments of the pyramids. Basically, it was a trial run for the pyramids to come since architects realized the foundation was too wide and decided to taper it upward. The Dashur Pyramid is one of the lesser known pyramids in Egypt, but its location is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful. In 2019, it was finally restored for the first time after it was built 4,500 years ago and then opened to the public. Surprisingly, the restoration process was actually an archaeological adventure in itself. While they were excavating, they discovered stone, clay, and wooden sarcophagus, along with funerary masks, mummies, and other exciting artifacts. When it opened, tourists were welcome to access the pyramid by way of a 260-foot tunnel into the pyramid. They could also view all the artifacts, coffins, and mummies that had been discovered during the process. I can never wrap my head around how so many amazing things are still being found in Egypt after all this time. Surely we're almost at the end of discovering the unknown. Out of all these recent discoveries, which one shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!